Now today we are going to see science part two, second chapter. What is the name of the second chapter? Life processing. Life processing in living organisms. Living organisms. Part one. Now there are four topics. This chapter is divided in four topics. First topic is living organism and life process. Second topic is living organism and energy production. Third topic is some nutrients and energy efficiency. Fourth topic is cell division or life process. Then in your book there are some questions are given before to go towards the second chapter the first question is from can you recall how are the food stocks and their nutrients contained in our body we are consuming our food that is useful for us especially all the material all the food material is useful for the growth and development of the body for what purpose food is necessary for the growth and development of the body? Yes, all these food is digested and converted into soluble nutrients. And these nutrients are added nutrients through our blood all over the body. When we inhale, here yeah, oxygen is taken out from the air. And that is mixed into you know, the blood, only oxygen. Therefore, oxygen carries out oxidation of nutrients and thus energy is produced. Yeah, the energy in the body will carry out all the functions. Now, next question who can read? Yes, read the second question. What is the, what importance, is the importance of balanced diet for the body? Good. What is the importance of balanced diet for the body? Hmm. Now tell me what is meant by balanced diet. Ranjal Thora, give hmm. the answer of this question. What is balanced diet? Balanced diet as a carbohydrates, proteins are in a right proportion in our body. Good. That means carbohydrates, huh. protein, and, and fat, minerals, protein, and water all should be in full proportion. Yes, in proportion, this word is very important. That is called balanced diet. All our nutrients carry the same important functions. And this diet is required for the energy and nutrition. This balanced diet provides nutrition for us and energy. And it is very important for to maintain our health. This is very important for to maintain our health. Okay. Now next question. Number three. Who can read? Which different functions are performed by the muscles in, in body? Which different functions are performed by muscles in body? Yes, anybody can try to give the answer of this question. Yes, Bhumika, can you tell? Muscles bring about, muscles bring about movement of arms and legs, running, walking, etc. Muscles bring about movement of arms and legs, running, speaking, walking, etc. Good, good. 
there are two types of muscles in our body first is voluntary muscle second is involuntary muscles voluntary muscles and involuntary muscles okay these voluntary cardiac muscles which are cardiac muscles all the movements according to our body आपले इच्छे प्रमाणे जे काम करणारे व्हॉलेंटरी म्हणायचं इनव्हॉलेंटरी इनव्हॉलेंटरी मसल व्हिच डू नॉट वर्क्स विथ आवर वाइफ लाइक एग्जांपल कार्डियक मसल्स कंट्रोल द मूवमेंट आवर हार्ट आवर हार्ट डिस्ट्रक्शन एक्सेशन हार्ट 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 कंटेन useful for the movement of our heart all these carbohydrates proteins these are also stored in our muscles and therefore our body becomes healthy number 4 yes puja yogesh digestive juices which are in our stomach to make ph of digestive tract acidic the tract which is in our body it makes acidic by the digestive juices second intestinal juices make it alkaline alkaline means the material which contain the ph more than 7 acidic means the material which having less than 7 ph when we consume our food when we consume our food it becomes acidic by the dilute hydrochloric acid which is released in our stomach for what to disinfect our food material and it get neutralized with the intestinal juices which having the alkaline ph The pH is more than seven. That is called alkaline pH, and that is alkaline pH. Okay. Next question. Yes. Gunjana Anushka. Can you read me? Can you listen me? Gunjana Anushka. which system is in action of for removal the removal of waste material produced in your human body good which system is in action for removal waste material produced in human body whatever it may be that is say which system is useful for to excrete from our body excretory system excretory muscles system excretory system system which is used for the unnecessary respiration oxidation of food store inside the cell that is called cellular respiration that is two types of respiration one is external second cellular body level and cellular respiration then one question is to you for you in your textbook page number 13 yes how many atoms of carbon c hydrogen h and oxygen o are respectively present in the molecule of glucose can you tell me the chemical formula of glucose C C H twelve O six C C H twelve O six C six H twelve O six. 
very nice so this is the chemical formula of glucose c6h2o6 what is it means o6 it means that six atoms of carbon eight atoms of carbon well atoms of hydrogen of hydrogen and six atoms of oxygen oxygen oxygen, oxygen. Ah. because of these this compound glucose is produced having the chemical formula c6h2o6 which type of chemical bonds are present in the atoms of carbon and hydrogen Co covalent bond covalent bond covalent bond covalent bond atom have covalent bond between covalent bond then now tell me what is meant by covalent bond what is covalent bond what is covalent bond do not share electron yes it does not shares electron or gain electron the sharing of electron the bond which is formed because of sharing of electron that is called covalent bond sharing means give and take dene ani ghene jaso tumhi madhya shuti madhe je jevayla basat ek mekancha dawa shuti ki share karta ki nahi ha ha sala mane jo covalent bond इतने लक्ष्य हैं आप सगर ना कि दिस होगा यस सर यस सर यस सर हाँ इतने लक्ष्य हैं आप थोड़े प्रांतर थोड़े प्रांतर डिस्कनेक्ट हुई तो ना तुम्हें रिजॉइन वाइस बता हेलो हो सर हेलो सर हो सर हो सर यस सर जो मैं तुम तक चाइस में चालू हो मेरे Good and it loses it the gains oxygen atom. Yes, it loses the electron. Then oxygen atom okay. loses an electron. Yes, yes, yes. Loses electron. Then in the respiration process, there are two types of respiration: aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration. Anaerobic respiration. Good, good. Aerobic respiration is respiration which takes place in presence of oxygen. That is called aerobic respiration. Oxygen. Right? Human being, all the mass which are taking inhale oxygen and exhale carbon dioxide. Without oxygen, we cannot survive. Upon oxygen, is there any chance of survival? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. But, but no, sir. some of the, but some of the. Animals or microorganisms can survive, can live for their lifespan without oxygen. That is called anaerobic respiration. In aerobic respiration, oxidation of glucose occurs in three states. Which are these three states? Glycolysis, 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 and glycolysis. In glycolysis, glucose molecule is oxidized. Step five into two molecules. Can you repeat the name of that molecule? Pyruvic acid, ATP, ATP, NADSO, and water. This first process of glycolysis. In this process, takes place in the cytoplasm. Pyruvic acid performed performed during glycolysis, which is converted into a molecule of Acetyl coenzyme A and two molecules each of NADH2 
and CO two. Can you tell me the long form of energy H two O? Nikota. Yes. Nikota. 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 Nik
few cells are formed by cell division to heal the bone. अपनी जख्म बनने नहीं आ सकी, बरस रक्त पुनः एक गां रिकवर होता। Next question: Do the plants get injured? When do we pluck the flower? How are those bones seen? जहाँ वेला अपन फूल तोड़ूंगे तो तेरे वेला क्या झाड़ा अपन इंजरी होते का? Plants do not have nervous system. अपने लग जैसे नर्वस सिस्टम है जैसे प्लांट्स का नर्वस सिस्टम आएगा नहीं नहीं तो दे डू नॉट हैव सेंसेशन अपने लग जैसे एक आदि प्रिंट तो इसलिए कि सेंसेशन होता तो सब प्लांट्स का सेंसेशन होता का नहीं नो सर नो सर नो सर कैसा मतलब है because there is no nervous system so, nervous system ah, but ah, the thing is plants also have sensation pan ali kade asa samshodana anki laksha hai ki plants la pan sensation asta the tissue that are lost get this Stored by cell division. Sir, apply a zada zada. One kada pani kani pani kani tolo. Sir, puna idhar restore ke liye zada. Kacha apne by cell division mekha. How does the growth of any living organism occur? Does the number of cells in the body increases? If yes, how? In living organism. Grows due to the increase in the number of the cells in the body. The cells divide regularly and add new cells, which are essential for the growth. The cell division is thus necessary for the growth of the body and also for the regeneration and repair of the tissue. Our height is increased. Our weight is increased because of the rapid growth and division of the cells. अपने वजन वाढतो आपली उंची वाढते म्हणजे एक्झॅक्ट काय वाढतो द नंबर ऑफ सेल्स आर इंक्रीजेस पेशींची संख्या वाढत राहते हाऊ द न्यू इंडिविजुअल ऑफ अ स्पेसीज इज फॉर्म फ्रॉम एक्झिस्टिंग वन ऑफ सेम स्पेसीज ड्यू टू रिप्रोडक्शन 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 देयर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन एंड असेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन What sexual kind of reproduction is in the mitosis? The cell division helps forming new individuals. And in case of sexual reproduction, that is meiosis. Mitosis is in the sexual reproduction. Yeah, in the sexual reproduction, due to the chromosome, genes, and DNA, the new individuals are species become similar to the existing species. Okay. Then now we will see the video related to this about mitosis and meiosis. Then video that will come in. हो 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 सर अटक तो है सर आवाज आवाज अटक है हो सर आवाज नहीं आवाज नहीं है ते सर आवाज नहीं है ते आवाज नहीं है ते हो हो सर हो आवाज तो आता 
इंट्रोडक्शन टू साइंटिस्ट द नेम ऑफ दैट साइंटिस्ट इज सन हैंस क्रेड proteins are converted into fatty amino acids and these fatty acid amino acids are further converted into acetic coenzyme a similarly carbohydrate amines some states like glycolysis pyruvic acid and then acetic coenzyme and then further to the krebs cycle and carbon dioxide water and energy which is to be take it from the food material similarly this is aerobic respiration in anaerobic respiration in living organism glucose is the process of glycolysis glucose in pyruvic acid glucose again pyruvic acid some pyruvic acid goes to fermentation alcohol and yeast some pyruvic acid goes fermentation lactic acid and enterocyte muscle cells these are all about the anaerobic respiration next glycolysis pyruvic acid fermentation different products vinegar vitamins and then various microbes okay yeah seven is it okay okay are you listening to me yes sir Yes, yes, sir. Oh, hello there. Uh, I'm at the gym. I don't know why you're here, but I'm going to do some push-ups. You can join me on the floor if you want. No, I'm not doing this just to show off or anything. I'm actually doing this for science. Okay. You see what happened there? My arms moved. My shoulders moved. Today I'm talking about the energy and the process our cells and other animal cells go through to provide themselves with power. Cellular respiration is how we derive energy from the food that we eat, specifically from glucose, since most of what we eat ends up as glucose. Here's the chemical formula for one molecule of glucose. In order to turn this glucose into energy, we're going to need to add oxygen. Six molecules of it to be exact. Through cellular respiration, we're going to turn that glucose into oxygen into six molecules of CO2, six molecules of water, and some energy that we can use for doing all of our push-ups. So that's all well and good, but here's the thing. We can't just use that energy to run a marathon or something. First, our bodies have to turn that energy into a really form of stored energy called ATP, or adenosine triphosphate. You've heard me talk about this before. People often refer to ATP as the currency of biological energy. Think it is an American dollar. It's what you need to do business in the U.S. You can't just walk into a Best Buy with a handful of Chinese yen or Indian rupees and expect to be able to buy anything with them, even though they're technically our money. Same goes with energy. In order to be able to use it, our cells need energy to be transferred into adenosine triphosphate to be able to grow, move, create electrical impulses in our nerves and brains, everything. A while back, for instance, we talked about how cells use ATP to transport some kinds of materials in and out of its membrane. 
the documentary about that, you can watch that episode right here. Now, before we see how ATP is actually put together, let's look at how cells can cash in on the energy that's stashed in there. Well, adenosine triphosphate is made up of a nitrogenous base called adenine with a sugar called ribose and three phosphate groups attached to it. Now, one thing you need to know glycolysis, the Krebs cycle, and the electron transport chain. Traditionally, these stages are described as coming one after the other, but really everything in the cell is kind of happening all at the same time. But, but let's start with the first step, glycolysis, or the breaking down of the glucose. Glucose, of course, is a sugar. You know this because it's got an os at the end of it. And glycolysis is just the breaking up of glucose's six carbon ring into two three carbon molecules called pyruvic acids or pyruvic molecules. Now, in order to explain exactly how glycolysis works, I'd need about an hour of your time in a giant cast of finger puppets, each playing a different enzyme. And though it would pay me to do it, I would have to use words like phosphoglucoisomerase. But a simple way of explaining it is like this. If you want to make some money, you got to spend some money. Glycolysis needs the investment of two ATPs in order to work, and in the end, it generates four ATPs for a net profit, if you will, of two ATPs. In addition to those four ATPs, glycolysis results in two pyruvic chain are both aerobic processes, which means that they require oxygen. So we find ourselves at the next step in cellular respiration. After glycolysis comes the Krebs cycle. So while glycolysis occurs in the cytoplasm, or the fluid medium within the cell that all the organelles hang out in, the Krebs cycle happens across the inner membrane of the which are generally considered the power. Of the, the Krebs cycle takes the products. Glycolysis those carbon rich pyruvates and reworks them to create another two per glucose molecule plus some energy and a couple of which I'll talk about in a minute. Now, the first one of the pyruvates is oxidized, which basically means that it's combined with oxygen. One of the carbons off the three carbon chain bonds with an oxygen molecule and leaves the cell as CO2. What's left is a two carbon compound called acetyl coenzyme A or acetyl CoA. Then another NAD plus comes along, picks up a hydrogen, and becomes NADH. So our two pyruvates create another two molecules of NADH to be used later. As in glycolysis, and really all life, enzymes are essential here. They are the proteins that bring together the stuff that needs to react with each other, and they bring them together in just the right way. These enzymes, for example, bring together a phosphate with an ADP to create another ATP molecule for each pyruvate. Enzymes also help join the acetyl-CoA in a four-carbon molecule called oxaloacetic acid. I think that's how you pronounce it together, and they form a six carbon molecule called citric acid, and I'm certain that that's how you pronounce that one. Yeah, it's the stuff that's in orange juice. <laughs> Fun fact! The Krebs cycle, which is what makes the Krebs cycle a cycle. And out of the carbon cleaved off the citric acid, there are leftovers in the form of CO2 or carbon dioxide, which are exhaled by the cell and eventually by you. You and I, as we continue our existence as people, are exhaling the products of the Krebs cycle right now. Good work. This video, by the way, using a lot of ATP making. Now, each time a Dressed electrons from each pyruvate, which, in effect, charges them up. The addition of hydrogen turns them into NADH and FADH2, respectively. Each pyruvate yields three NADHs. Proteins will swap these electrons to send hydrogen protons from inside the very center of the mitochondria across its inner membrane to the outer compartment of the mitochondria. But once they're out, the protons want to get back to the other side of the inner membrane because there's a lot of other protons out there. And as we've learned, nature always tends to seek a nice, peaceful balance on either side of the membrane. So all of these anxious protons are allowed back in through a special protein called ATP synthase. And the energy of this proton flow drives this crazy spinning mechanism that squeezes some ADP and some phosphates together to form ATP. So the electrons from the 10 NADHs that come out of the Krebs cycle... Okay, now, energy from different... Different food components, carbohydrates which are not utilized, <laughs> proteins are formed 
by amino acids, which are held by peptide bonds. And this is called macromolecules. The molecules which are made from the peptide bonds, that is macromolecules, when proteins are digested, they are converted back into amino acids. Amino acids are observed in blood circulatory and transport state to urine cell. <clears throat> As per the type of cell, the amino acids are again used for making proteins that are required by the body. Can you tell me the names of protein? Hello? Hello, are you listening to me? Hello? Yes. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. Okay. Then yes, sir. Your book. Yes. Now see your page number 16. There are amino acids are 31. In amino acid, the proteins are located. In a skin, which protein is located? Melanin and keratin. Apply to chela to run the practice alilai to ponamas alilai? Melanin. Melanin. Yes, melanin is a kind of protein. <coughs> melanin now is a protein where apply to chela run the practice alilai. Second bones, which protein is there? Ozin. Yes. Ozin. In a cell, membrane These are also the kind of proteins. In pancreas, insulin and insulin. In pancreas is the interior organ of our body. In there is the protein like insulin. And trypsin. Then, which is the gland? Different virus and yes, virus and hormones. Different types virus of and hormones. Yes. Enzymes and hormones are also kind of the proteins which are essential for to control and coordinate. Typical daughter cells. Parent cell has to divide DNA yes, by process of. ियोकाइनासिस Nucleus stains darkly. Chromosomes get duplicated. Various other biosynthesis takes place, and the cell is metabolically very active. Karyokinesis. It is divided into four phases. You should remember the term PMAT. PMAT is the acronym for the phases of karyokinesis. It breaks down into prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. We suppose it would be good to know what happens during those phases. Prophase. A cell gets the idea that it is time to divide. First, it has to get everything ready. You need to duplicate DNA, get certain pieces in the right position that is set yours, and then prepare the cell for the process of mitotic division. Nuclear membrane and nucleolus starts to disappear. The chromatin network of interface starts to become shorter and thicker due to coiling as well as loss of water. Each chromosome is duplicated and visible in the form of a pair of sister chromatids or pairs of identical copies of DNA joined at a point called the centromere, which remains attached at a common point called centrosome. By the late prophase, Chromosomes are visible as thick broad like structure. Nuclear membrane and nucleolus disappears completely. Metaphase. Now, 
all of the pieces are aligned themselves for the big split. The DNA lines up along a central axis and the centrioles send out specialized tubules that connect to the DNA. The DNA chromatin has now condensed into chromosomes. Two strands of chromosomes are connected at the center with something called a centromere. The tubules actually connect to the centromere. The beginning of metaphase is characterized by the absence of nuclear membrane and nucleolus and the appearance of spirit are brought at all the side of the operation begins. Half of the chromosomes are pulled to one side of the cell, half to the other way. When the chromosomes get to the side of the cell, it's time to move on to telophase. During this period, sister chromosomes are put towards opposite directions due to the contraction of spindle fiber. Due to the contraction of the spindle fiber, the centromere splits longitudinally, resulting in single centromere for each chromatid, now called chromosomes. This is also supported by repulsion between two sister chromatids. Due to the continuous contraction of the fiber, each chromosome now.